Hello, Rock Hill School staff, students, and families. This is Dr. Bill Cook, Superintendent of the Rock Hill School District. Over the past week, we have been given many opportunities like none other at any time. When we decided a year ago to pilot a new program called e-learning, we would have never dreamt that we would be using it in the way we are today. What a great opportunity we have made to remain engaged with our students and the teaching and learning process. I want to take this time to commend our students and families for your resilience, patience, commitment, and dedication. Communication from our principals and teachers is that our students are doing extremely well and being very successful. I also wish to take this opportunity to thank our teachers and administrators who have worked tirelessly over the past year, but especially the past two weeks, to develop appropriate and engaging lessons for our students to continue to grow and learn. I am most proud of all our team members for maintaining their connections and relationships with their students and families through video calls, conference calls, telephone calls, emails, and other ways they have remained connected as we know the importance of our relationships. Likewise, our support staff of office members, cafeteria workers, custodians, bus drivers, security staff, and other significant team members have stepped up to meet the unique needs of our students and our community as we have continued serving over 13,000 meals since last Monday and delivering back the pack meals to our families as well as instructional packets, devices, and supplies to our students. I could not be more proud of our team members and their efforts during this unprecedented time than I am right now. I say thank you to each and every one of you. At this time, I would like to share with you some updated information. As our state continues to respond to the global COVID-19 pandemic, Governor Henry McMaster announced in a joint statement with South Carolina Superintendent of Education Molly Spearman that all schools will remain closed through the end of April. Governor McMaster and Superintendent Spearman praised the state's teachers and administrators for their efforts to make learning possible for students at home. They also added that the prospect of schools remaining closed for an extended period of time places stress and strain on parents and children, and if there is any way to safely open our schools earlier, they will do that but schools must remain closed to protect the health and safety of all South Carolinians. With this announcement, the Rock Hill Schools team will continue to ensure the learning process through its e-learning opportunities and instructional resources. I would like to share our next steps as we move forward having received this information. For the next round of assignments and packets, we will be working with our teachers to begin preparing assignments in the week ahead, and our goal is for new assignments and packets to be available for distribution next week. Information and directions for access to new assignments will be provided by each school. Due to the virus, we are having to consider the safest ways of collecting student work. Students in grades 3 through 12 may submit their assignments to their teacher through Canvas. Pre-K through second grade or students who do not have access to Canvas through internet may send their work through any other communication tool the teacher uses, such as Dojo, or they may send to their school by taking pictures, using a cell phone of the completed work, and forwarding them via email. Schools will notify families next week on how this process will work. Concerning grading, the third grading period for students concluded prior to the school closure and grades for third quarter reports are being finalized by teachers at this time and our plans are to mail a copy of the third quarter report home prior to spring break. For moving forward with grading of work and assignments, we are waiting additional guidance from the state on how we assign grades to work and what grading will look like for our elementary and middle school students, as well as how the closure of schools will affect the statewide uniform grading policy for high school students. 
expect to see and hear information on this in the upcoming days. We remind students that it is important to return completed assignments to the teacher. Other information I would like to share with you at this time includes the following. The South Carolina Department of Education has been granted a waiver from the United States Department of Education to suspend all state mandated testing for this school year. Therefore, we will not administer SC Ready in grades three through eight, SC Pass in grades four and six, end of course exams for English, Algebra One, Biology, and United States History. In addition, pre-K assessments are also waived. The United States Department of Education has waived federal testing requirements for this school year. High school students enrolled in advanced placement courses will receive specific information detailing online testing. The International Baccalaureate Organization has canceled its testing for high school students enrolled in IB courses and they are currently determining how to use internal assessments to assign students IB scores for courses. Our IB teachers and administrators will be working at the school level in collaboration with our district instructional staff to finalize these and submit. For those students who are enrolled in dual credit courses, our school and district staff are working with our post-secondary partners to finalize the specific details on these courses as well. Our state and local instructional leaders are working with partners like College Board to see what options can exist for high school students to take ACT, SAT, and when ready to work assessments that are important for post-secondary studies and work. We know that the spring of each year brings about many opportunities for our students, staff, and families. With the closing of schools, all co-curricular, extracurricular, and after-school activities are canceled during the closure of schools until April 30. Like you, we are disappointed that this time of year is being altered. If an event, performance, trip, or activity can be postponed, that is our first preference and each school as well as the district will work towards that goal and communicate that decision with families. If an event beyond April 30th has to be canceled, our school and district administrators will collaborate and communicate that information as soon as we can. We have had many questions from students and families about high school proms and graduation. Since proms were scheduled before April 30, our school and district administrators have collaborated and have postponed prom until May 30th provided all safety and health related conditions allow for such an event to occur. We have heard through the media and other sources all over the United States where school districts, colleges, and universities have canceled their graduations and commencement ceremonies. Currently, our high school graduations are scheduled for June 6. We will continue to reserve this date for this special occasion while we continue discussions about options and the health and safety of our community and state. Any changes in a decision for graduation will be made at a later date when we can be more informed and current with our status regarding health and safety. We recognize the importance of these events, trips, performances, sports, and ceremonies, and will look for alternatives when possible while asking for your patience and understanding when those do not exist. Finally, the district will still honor the scheduled spring break holiday, April 6th through the 10th, to allow students, families, and district employees a time to refocus, refresh, and relax. This is an important time for our staff, students, and families to focus on yourself and the ones you love. So please enjoy your spring break. During this extended closure, the district will continue to provide daily grab-and-go meal service at designated distribution sites in our community to any child under the age of 18. As we have previously shared, the Back the Pack program 
will continue with Friday delivery of food packs to students who rely on this program each week during the school year. Breakfast and lunch will be offered at elementary schools, Bellevue, Finley Road, Oakdale, Richmond Drive, and Rosewood each weekday between 8 and 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Seven community sites will offer lunch between 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. each weekday. The community sites at this time are College Downs Park, Boyd Hill Apartments, Emmett Scott Center, The Glens Apartments, Confederate Park, Workman Street Apartments, and Catawba Indian Reservation Longhouse. For the latest updates on Rock Hill School's response to the COVID-19 pandemic, please visit our website at www.rock-hill.k12.sc.us forward slash coronavirus. Connect with the district on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, or download the district app. In addition, you may also email helpme at rhmail.org for general assistance or helpdesk at rhmail.org for technology support. We understand you will have questions and concerns about today's announcement. Rest assured, our team continues to work with partners at the state and national level to address issues facing our students and teachers. Through this closure, we remain committed to ensuring all students are engaged in work, either via hard copy packets or online, and that the work is high quality, manageable, and appropriate while not placing unnecessary burdens on families during this time. Most importantly, we value our students, our staff, and our families, and will remain connected. Please know that we are thinking about you, your family, your health, our schools, community, state, and nation. Please continue to be safe. We will get through this. I ask each of you to stay strong, stay the course, and believe in the power of unity. We are one team on one mission for a greater Rock Hill.